but we're get, we're gonna Dream Team's gonna be on television coming up. Uh, A and E, I'm hearing about Piper, and then right after that, probably before that, the other A and E thing is called Hidden Treasures, and we're going around. They filmed him in Boston, me and him in Tampa, me and him New in Orleans. New Orleans, Baton Rouge, I mean, not Baton Rouge, but Lockport. And then we did this thing out here. We just finished a big thing here in Las Vegas where uh, we had a double wedding, renewed our vows. Uh, Tampa with a, with a British Bulldog's uh, son, Harry Smith. Yes, and, yes. And, and David Boy's wife, Diana, and his daughter, uh, Georgia. Yeah. <laughs> who I know since you were Babies, I, I know these kids since they were infants. You know, in, in those days, I used to, used to stay with Davy Boy's family in uh, Calgary, all, uh, all every time I was there. And uh, you know, and Greg too. You know, we would stay with the Hearts. The, you know, part of the heart, heart family, the whole thing. That's the real family. You know, we we were like part of their family. We we stayed with with you know at Brett's house. Brett's house or Davy Boy's house or at Stu's house, you know, we were there for dinners and stuff like that. It's like yeah, I broke into the business with Stu Hart you know. in Calgary, so I knew Brett when he was 16 years old, and, <laughs> and I knew I knew uh, Diane was sitting at ringside. I got my chance to get. I broke into the business in 1970, and then after that, it was you know. I was lucky on the way down, went to Detroit and hooked up with Flair in the Mid-Atlantic, the rest is history, but I got to start at the Heart Dungeon Inn family. <laughs> dungeon. The dungeon. He had 12 kids and 13 cats, or was it the other way around? No, it was 12 kids. 12 kids and 13 cats, and his place looked like Herman Munster's up on the hill, you know, by itself, swear to God. He looked like Herman Munster when he's walking around when he picked me up at the airport and I never met him before. <laughs> and he's going, eh, eh, you got big arms. And he was barefoot and he was, was he uh, barefoot? It was snowing outside. Come yeah, on. he was barefoot. In the airport? <laughs> no, he picked me up there on, on the uh, outside there. Oh, once he you got a big when you fleet got wood. He had a big Fleetwood. And he picked me up and it's just me and him and the Fleetwood. And he backed up and to Safeway store or something, they unloaded a bunch of rotten vegetables in the back of his <laughs> flea bowl. And then we went to his house and he dumped them in the, right by the dungeon where we, me and him wrestled barefoot. And all the kids came down and they were eating uh, rotten fruit. Okay. It was all, it wasn't all rotten. There was this, you know, this is legendary, cause I made it legendary, but uh, every time, you know, back in the day, you know, Stu would be on the phone, Stu Hart. He was a promoter and he'd be on the phone for a long time. And the cat would be roaming around. You know, he had these, he had 13, but he had this one cat that would be going around and he'd pet him and everything like that. And he had a pencil. And then eventually he would have the pencil, he'd play with the cat's balls. And then he'd end up playing with his ass <laughs> with the eraser part of the pencil. Oh, seriously. And then, and then finally he'd hang up the phone and he'd go away and, you know, did whatever, and all of a sudden the phone would ring again and the cat would beat him to the phone. Because <laughs> <laughs> he wanted some more of that good loving with the eraser on his balls and his oh, ass. Fuck. Hey, he loved, I said, why is the cat sitting on the phone now? <laughs> He's waiting for a ring. We got, got along great, but we didn't really have any matches with the Hart Foundation, did we? You know what? I think it was me and Honky that did. Yeah, I, me and him after, didn't right? have. That was I, the, I, one I, of the WrestleManias. It's me and Honky I wrestled against Brett. the Hart Foundation. I think. Yeah, I think. Yeah. And in like '84ish and '85, I wrestled Brett a couple times in in a couple of smaller towns and stuff. So and they it, beat it was Honky, not me. You know, I didn't. <laughs> So I never really, I never got to wrestle Brad in any well, I'm sorry, it was me and, it was Rhythm and Blues. That's right. Yeah, yeah, they, they that wrestled that. I was just, we, we never worked with them, them, them two. But you we know? did wrestle uh, uh, a lot of them. I just got confused. Uh, so it was me and Honky that wrestled them at WrestleMania, <laughs> WrestleMania 5. Yeah, at Trump, Trump Plaza, Plaza. yeah. 
That's right. Yeah. We did four and five at Trump last. But I don't think we were called right. Rhythm and Blues yet. We were. Oh, I was at uh, Honky and four and DiBiase and five. <laughs>